guys, welcome back. We're going to do a tutorial today about making a texture plate. So before we begin, you need to gather your materials. The first thing you'll need is one block of clay. This is two ounces. This happens to be Fimo Classic. You can use any color. You can use scrap clay. It does not have to be new clay. You're going to need your extruder. Um, I use a walnut hollow extruder. Links will be down below. I also use several different types of discs for this. I have the four hole rounds. I have the 12 hole rounds, the baby tiny holes, and the bigger holes. Okay. Uh, you will also need a variety of sculpting tools. These are Christy Friesen's set of sculpting tools. Uh, you can buy them on her website. I'll also have the link below. A variety of ball type tools to help detail your clay. I have a tapestry needle. I have a regular needle. Again, I've made handles for all of these and embedded them. A double ball ended stylus in whatever diameter you have. A blade, a cutting blade to cut your clay. A knitting needle to help place and secure your pattern. Um, a pointy needle tool. Uh, this is a little thicker than the other one. This will also help to secure clay. Tweezers for the little bitty things that your fingers just can't touch. And this is one of my favorite sculpting tools. It's a plastic cheap kids tool that I use for everything, really. So um, any sculpting tools that you think you might need. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is, and might I add, do not forget your cup of coffee. Most important thing. Uh, first thing you're going to do is take your clay block and you're going to divide it up. Um, you're going to have to roll this flat. You can use either an acrylic brayer or a pasta machine. I guess I left